Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos on chemistry and biochemistry and how they pertain to a class in biology. In our unit on chemistry and biochemistry, we have discussed four different types of organic molecules. Proteins, lipids, nucleic acids, and carbohydrates. In addition to knowing some of the important characteristics of these types of biomolecules, it's also important that you could identify pictures of them based upon their functional groups and the elements that they contain. This video will help explain how to do so using examples. The picture on this slide illustrates what some of those different biomolecules look like. Before we look at any more biomolecules in this video, there is a way to learn this information that I would suggest, using a dichotomous key. There is a separate video I created for studying techniques that include some information on dichotomous keys, but here's the short of it. Ask a series of questions that can be answered with a yes or a no, leading towards the correct answer. An example dichotomous key to identify different invertebrates in a pond is described here. The reason I would suggest this and provided the example is, number one, you probably know just about nothing about macroinvertebrate pond life. And two, even you could use this chart to figure out what you're looking at. Identification of biomolecules can be tricky, and you probably had zero prior knowledge in this area. A dichotomous key could help a lot. Why didn't I just make you a dichotomous key for the identification of biomolecules? You'll probably learn a lot by making one yourself. Our first example is provided here. What type of biomolecule do you think you're looking at? Take about 15 seconds to make an educated guess, thinking of a reason or two why this is whatever you think it is. Hit pause while you think. This is an example of a lipid. In particular, it's a triglyceride. A couple of ways that you could have figured this out. First, highlighted in red, it possesses a long hydrocarbon chain, carbons bonded to carbons that are flanked by hydrogens. This is a fatty acid chain. Second, highlighted in blue, it contains a glycerol group. Finally, it's only made up of the elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, which could rule out proteins and nucleic acids. What type of biomolecule do you think you're looking at now? Again, take about 15 seconds pausing the video to make a guess. Again, thinking of a reason or two why this is whatever you think it is. This is a carbohydrate. In particular, it's a monosaccharide. A few reasons that you could have come to this conclusion. First, it only contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Again, this could rule out proteins and nucleic acids. Second, it has a ratio of 1 to 2 to 1 in terms of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. There are 6 carbons, 12 hydrogens, and 6 oxygens. Finally, third, it's arranged as a ring, which is common for carbohydrates. What type of biomolecule do you think you're looking at now? Again, take 15 seconds, pausing the video, and think of a reason or two why. Again, this is an example of a lipid. It contains the two different groups that I discussed earlier, a hydrocarbon chain, a fatty acid chain highlighted in red, and a glycerol group highlighted in blue. What type of biomolecule is this? Take 15 seconds, pausing the video, and think of a reason or two why. This is an example of the subunit of a protein called an amino acid. How could you have figured this out? First, it contains the elements C, H, O, and N, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. Since it doesn't have phosphorus, it can't be a nucleic acid. Since it has nitrogen, it's probably not a carbohydrate or a lipid. Second, it contains two important functional groups, an amino, or NH2 group, that's highlighted in red, and an acid group that's highlighted in blue. The big ring on the bottom may have thrown you off a little bit, and that's highlighted in green. That happens to be the variable group of this amino acid. What type of biomolecule do you think this is? Pause the video, take 15 seconds, and think of a reason or two why. This biomolecule is, again, a carbohydrate. This time, it's an example of a disaccharide. How could you have figured this out? First, it contains only the elements C, H, and O, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Second, there are not any hydrocarbon chains, as you would expect to find in a lipid. And finally, the ratio of carbon to hydrogen to oxygen is just about 1 to 2 to 1. There should be 12 carbons, 22 hydrogens, and 11 oxygens. Which of the four types of biomolecules is this? Take 15 seconds, make a guess, and explain why. This is an example of a nucleic acid. How in the world could you have come to this conclusion? First, the elements contained are C, H, O, N, and P, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. That might lead you in this direction. 
Second, it contains three different components. In blue is a phosphate group, uh, phosphorus surrounded by four oxygens. In red is a sugar, which is a ring made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And in green is a nitrogen-containing base, rings made up of carbon and nitrogen. These are the three components that make up a nucleotide in nucleic acids. Here is our last example I'd like you to try to identify. What type of biomolecule is this? Take about 15 seconds, hit pause, and think of a reason why. This is another example of an amino acid, which is the subunit of a protein. There are a number of ways that you could have figured this out. First, it contains all three of the functional groups that we discussed earlier. There's an amino group that's highlighted in red, an acid group that's found in blue, and the variable group that's outlined in green. Second, the elements that are found in this biomolecule could have helped you out. It contains carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, but it doesn't contain phosphorus. So this could have clued you in. That is the end of this video on how to identify the four different types of biomolecules, proteins, lipids, nucleic acids, and carbohydrates, based upon their molecular form. If you are interested in learning about any other chemistry or biochemistry concepts as they relate to a class in biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.